The office environment is the place where, with the exception of our bedrooms, we spend the greater part of our lives. In any enclosed space where a lot of people spend a lot of time together, there's an increased risk that we will become infected with a cold or flu virus. In winter, the risk is highest, most of all in offices where relative humidity is low. The result? High levels of illness and productivity losses in the billions. In open space offices, the risk of infection is especially high. If a sick colleague breathes, speaks, coughs or sneezes, thousands of infectious droplets spread through the air in a great many shapes and sizes. In room air, these droplets come together to form an aerosol, that is, a mixture of solid and liquid airborne particles, gases and water vapor. Depending on their size and weight, these droplets can persist for hours in room air and spread throughout the building via the air conditioning system and human activities. Aerosols expelled by infected individuals are loaded with viruses or bacteria embedded in watery mucus, saliva and dissolved salts. On leaving our airways, the aerosol droplets, with a moisture saturation of almost 100%, are exposed to much drier room air. Here, the droplets shrink almost instantly to around half of their original size. Having lost almost 90% of their weight due to water loss, their salt concentrations are now hugely increased. If the relative air humidity in the office is within the optimum range for human well-being, namely 40 to 60 percent, the salt concentration rises to a level where most of the viruses cannot survive and become deactivated. The risk of infection within this optimum range for relative humidity is minimal. However, things look very different if the relative humidity drops to below 40 percent. This level of humidity causes the dissolved salts to spontaneously crystallize out since the aerosols are forced to release even more water to the dry air. Once crystallized out, the salts are no longer harmful to viruses. On the contrary, they help them stay active and infectious for longer. The water-rich, wet aerosol now turns into a dry aerosol containing a higher number of active viruses than the wet aerosol. Therefore, the risk of infection from cold and flu viruses is much, much higher in dry office air. If these dry aerosols are then breathed in, the abundance of moisture in the respiratory tract redissolves the crystalline salts by water absorption. The still infectious viruses are released onto the mucous membranes of the airways, where they can penetrate into the cells and cause infection.